All right, in this video, I'm going to show you one of the cleanest methods for controlling a card. It's uh, it's a good one. So basically, I'll do a, a quick demonstration for you. This is the seven of clubs. Let's say that's the, the chosen card. Uh, they would take it, and let's say they place it back into the pack. Okay, so the spread call is basically in the process of closing the spread up. Uh, it's done. The card has already been controlled. It happens that quickly. So... Um, this is uh, basically the most basic version of the spread call that I'm going to teach you in this video. There are a bunch of variations that can improve on the method for certain situations, and uh, I'll cover those in, in later videos. But for now, let's, let's just do the basic spread call, which is still very powerful. Okay. Uh, here's what's happening. Uh, I wish I could give you... A, actually, maybe I can. Let's, let's try this. Um, I'm going to try to give you an under-the-deck view. And that might help out. I don't know if... Yeah, not bad. Maybe this way would be a little bit better. Okay, so check this out. Um, you, you spread out the cards. Have one selected. They take a look at it, and then to uh, have the card return to the pack, you're, you're going to spread the deck again and say, okay, why don't you just place it right here? Okay, so they place the card right here. It's the three of clubs in this case. Can you kind of see that? I don't know if this phone down there is really helping at all. But anyways, what you're going to do is uh, the, your f right hand fingertips are contacting the edge of the bottom most card of your right hand spread. See that? Okay. So in this case, it's the, well, it doesn't really matter what it is. So here's what's happening in slow motion. You have the card returned. You uh, push it over a little bit. And... As you come to close the spread, check it out. You align the bottom card of this spread right on top of the chosen card for a brief moment in time. Okay, as soon as that happens, keep in mind this all happens as you're closing the spread. When that happens, your right hand fingertips are now contacting the chosen card. Okay, and basically all you're going to do is you're going to pull it. Okay, I'll give you an exposed view here. I'll, I'll end jog it. You, you're going to pull it underneath the spread, and then it's going to clear. Okay, so now if you were to um, let go with your right hand fingers, that card would just drop. It's no longer in the spread. All right, it's been separated. So again, you have it returned to the pack. It's going to be pushed over a little bit. In the process of closing the spread, you align it with the bottommost card of the right hand packet. You're going to pull. Check this, let me give you this angle. You're gonna pull on that card. It's gonna break free from the spread, okay? So now this is their chosen card right here. It's riding underneath the spread. All I have to do is now finish squaring the pack and that card is gonna ride all the way to the bottom of the deck. Okay, this was really useless, huh? <laughs> Forget about that. Um, but I, th I think you get the point, right? Uh, I'll try to do it like this. Uh, I'll, I'll do it slowly. Align the pack, maybe this angle is best for you to see. That card is pulled underneath, it, you're gonna, it's gonna like click. It clicks when it breaks free, and then you close up the spread. Now, you do wanna be slightly careful of angles. It, it's, it's not very angle sensitive, but there are a few things you wanna be careful about. Um, one thing that really helps is you spread the bottom cards of the deck as you square up. And that helps that card ride to the very bottom without flashing. Because if you just take it to the bottom, then you kind of have to you kind of have to let it fall a little bit. And at certain angles maybe that card would be seen. Whereas if you just spread through the through to the bottom, it's covered better. Alright? Now I, I normally do this in in a stand up situation where people are looking down at the deck, that's when it's best covered. In a table scenario, you, you could still do it, but you might want to be a little bit more careful with the angles. Um, but overall, this is just a really clean control. Um, it, it's quick, you know, it, you're only moving one card throughout the whole process. A lot of card controls, you have to move a lot of different cards in the deck. So this is a great control for when you want to maintain the, the order of the deck while controlling the card. Okay. So another thing you want to be careful about is when you pull this card underneath the spread, you want to keep it aligned with the right hand spread because 
if you pull on it in the wrong way, it might get in jog like that. It might get out jogged. People will see it. It might flash. So you really want to uh, pull it straight directly underneath the spread. Okay, now you're at a bad angle, so you might see a flash here and there. But for the people in front of you, it's a good idea just to maybe pull slightly, um, maybe slightly in jog it. And that way, it, w it won't be seen from their angle. And then you close the spread. So that is the spread cool card control. I hope you like that. And uh, give it a try. Uh, I'll do some variations on it in the future. Um, different things that you can do to make it stronger. To, uh, different ways you can use it to control multiple cards at the same time. Lots of cool stuff. So practice it. Have fun. See you the next time. Bye.